peoples. Hello. Hello. We should introduce you to you, Bedjo. Can you see us at all, or is it super dark? The weather got beautiful, but at the same time, yeah, yeah, you're all in this with me. And I was really looking forward to getting out and doing a lot of vlogs outside, in public, doing lots of things, but as you know, a pandemic broke out and here I am at home. But the nice thing about Canada and where we're at now is we're not under quarantine. It's just social isolation or social distancing. So the laws changed over the weekend. On Friday, you know, things got canceled. NHL got suspended. Uh, other sports. I, I don't follow sports. I don't know who's suspended. Juno's got suspended. Big gatherings closed down. And at that time, I thought... You know, it's just the big things, all the little stuff can happen, it's fine. But a lot's changed over the weekend. Canada's just closed its borders to non-citizens or uh, permanent residents. So, things have changed. And I wanted to take some time to essentially just document what my feelings are going forward. Because uh, I think the next couple months are going to be interesting. And I kind of just want to document this time for the sake of history because I think it will be interesting to see how people's thoughts and feelings change over a course of time. So I think for the next little while, I'm going to do a little vlog. Maybe it'll be a small daily vlog. Or maybe it'll be once a week, every couple days. I have no idea. I might just stop after today or you may just never see this video. But if you did see this video, then it happened. I edited something, I got it up. So, kids, don't come in. I kicked my kids outside to play. It's kind of been like a whirlwind of emotions over the last couple days. Everything from, uh, will I have a business at the end of this or what's happening? I feel like I've gone through so many emotions about what this pandemic will mean to me in my life over the next few months or possibly years moving forward because I think there's some like implications that go beyond just this moment and so I want to kind of take some time to document this over the next while and kind of get my thoughts into the ether as just for the record just for history um, I don't really know if anyone is gonna watch these or care, but um, I don't care, this is my channel. It's not your tube, it's my tube. I mean, it's YouTube. It means YouTube, not, you don't get to tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. Never think you're the boss of me. I'm obnoxiously stubborn. So one of the major things that has changed my attitude and kind of where I'm sitting at now is I'm ready for Staycation 2020. Now I say that because I'm in a very fortunate position right now where even though a lot of my work has been canceled over the next foreseeable future, my wife has been working at becoming a nurse over the last few years and is just finishing school. And so it kind of just comes in at the right time. Whereas she's finishing soon and will be hopefully starting work in September. We're fine financially to get us to that point. And so we're just planning to chill out. Um, I think once this kind of blows over, I will be looking at, you know, what it means for rebuilding my business and how I get there. And there'll be a lot of like sales implications and what the economy is looking at like, because you know, work is tough in a slow economy. And hopefully I've gotten things together with my business that I can kind of weather some of those storms, but we'll see. It's hard to say. But at this point, I'm focused on Staycation 2020. Just chilling out, enjoying social distancing, because 
I think ultimately what it means for my family is that we're just going to hang around home and go to parks. We have a yard. We're going to be okay. It's not going to be like the end of the world. What are you doing? Kids have come in, so I'm going to go finish this video upstairs. I'm gonna go film upstairs for a bit. Anyways, I moved upstairs because kids came back in the house, so. And I didn't want to film them. I don't get to be, they're not the stars of my show. It's my show. Again, it's YouTube. Not them tube, not kid tube. So I'm probably not gonna talk about cameras and gear for the next couple weeks, but I likely will be talking about filmmaking, my career, and how this whole situation will affect that. And what are things that, you know, maybe other people can benefit from. And I also just want to show that, like, you know, putting in the work to do the social distancing, which will help keep people safe, doesn't have to be an annoying, boring thing. Like, I think there's actually, like, a lot of good that could come for our society. You know, assuming that we do the work, we help the people, and... We don't be jerks about it and buy all the fucking toilet paper. Anyways, I'm not really worried about our family getting sick. I think we'll be fine. Um, but I mean, the concern is for just like the general public. Hey, get out of there. Focus on me. Not everyone's going to have the benefit or privilege to social distance. And I think those who do should. And we do. Or at least I, me and the kids do. We can stay home. We can go to parks. We can take it easy we can chill out and have fun. So we're gonna do that. My wife is still uh, finishing her nursing school and has to go out in public. Um, so she's gotta do that. And it would make things better for society if me and the kids don't, cause we don't need to. So we're gonna chill out and have fun. And I'm mostly just gonna film us having fun and keep myself occupied and playing with cameras cause that's mostly what I like doing. Anyways. Staycation 2020, let's do this.